In this video, we will be demonstrating how to add behaviour incidents to a student's behaviour record in Edulink 1. For the purposes of this video, it is assumed you have enabled the behaviour functionality in Edulink 1 and have logged in as an employee. All behaviour incidents are written back to the MIS and update live, ensuring continuity. We will be covering three ways to add a behaviour. Firstly, adding a behaviour incident through the Behaviour and Achievements section. Secondly, when viewing a student record. And lastly, through your register. First, log on to your homepage and click on the Behaviour icon. Inside the Behaviour screen, you'll see a list of all learners, their behaviour points and their achievement points. To select a student, click on their image and then click the Add Behaviour button. However, if you would like to add a behaviour record to multiple students, click on the Bulk Behaviour button. Select the students and click Next. Fill in the behaviour fields. including additional fields below the comment and also adding a detention if necessary. Once finished, click the Submit Behaviour button. If you have set a detention in the Behaviour function, two messages appear stating the behaviour was successfully submitted and a detention was successfully added. Add a behaviour record to an individual student in another way by clicking on the Learners icon. Firstly, find the student and click on their image. Then click on their behaviour icon. To add a new behaviour, click on the plus sign button next to the Total Behaviour Points score. Add a behaviour incident in the same way as the behaviour icon. And click the Submit Behaviour button. Lastly, add a behaviour incident in a register by selecting the Registers icon. Locate the register and click on it. Select a student's image or, if you intend to add behaviour to multiple pupils, click on all images of those involved. Then click on the Behaviour button at the top of the register. Fill in the required fields. Click on the Submit Behaviour button to add the incident, as previously. It is worth noting that Edulink 1 has detention management functionality that ties into our behaviour feature, which we will feature in another video. Thanks for watching. For more on behaviour, visit our Knowledge Hub at support.overnetdata.com.